In this episode of Our House, we'll be replacing this extremely dodgy, crappy pod filter with this nice new InGen short ram. <laughs> So fortunately for us, the install today will be a lot easier because all we have to do is seriously just pull off this really sketchy pod filter. But if you weren't doing this and you had a stock air box, you'd have to pull it out from the resonator, unplug the air box, pull the whole thing out. And then we need to unplug the breather, the vacuum hose and the sensor, pull off the stock intake pipe and then chuck the engine back on. So we've pulled the factory intake off. So we've just got two things left to do before we put the intake on. We have to disassemble, disassemble the breather and vacuum hoses here to simplify it so it fits. And also we've found out, because this isn't a factory battery tie down, we're gonna swap these links over so there's a taller thread to actually attach the intake to, because you can see that's a bit short over there. And then we can chuck the intake on. So what we have to do now is pull apart the breather. So we have to basically just delete this little metal bend and attach this straight onto here. And that'll give us enough room for the intake to fit. So to make the intake fit, we need to delete all of these lines. So we're getting rid of this metal bend here and this metal bend here. So what we have to do is to reroute this line from the throttle body. We have to pull it off from the head of the engine and then just loop it back around straight back in. So we get rid of these two metal hoses. This can now reattach straight onto the block and then we can fit the intake. All right, so as you can see, we've looped the coolant line back on itself. It does spill out a bit of coolant, so have a rag handy. It was a bit festy and um, old, so it was a bit crusty to get off. But uh, once we got off, it was all good. Just jam that one straight back on. Use the stock hose clamps again. And now we're going to um, uh, link the breather up. So we're just going to pop this one on. There you go. Mm -hmm. That Easy. one's on. And then you stick that one in there like that. And then we've got to rig up the old breather box. So currently the main thing that's stopping us from finishing is this clamp is just, well the clamp's fine, but actually pulling off this little rubber thing which we need to attach for the head and then into the breather is being an absolute pain to get off. But once we get that off, we can attach the breather because you just use the factory breather box, attach it to the intake, and then it cut the in-gen comes with a little metal tube you just stick in here with the adapter that all connects up nicely and we've attached it to the throttle body but as you can see all the other clamps everything's just a bit loose just so we can kind of test fit everything and then we'll chuck the pod filter on but we've got the sensor in we've got the vacuum hose in so we're almost done all right so everything's tightened down connected to the battery we still haven't got this figured out but we figured we managed to do it the first start right now anyway just to see what it Ah, oh, sounds like. As you can see, there's no check engine light or anything. All good. So one of the main reasons that we had so many struggles with this is the intake is actually not designed for this car. It's meant for the American Accord Coupe, which has the same engine and it still fits. But unfortunately, InGen doesn't make a short ram for this car. So that's why it's a bit harder to do. Making sure she's nice and pretty. <laughs> so as you can see, we're all done. So everything's properly tied down. It's all tight, you know, to the battery. There's no shaking it whatsoever. We sorted out the whole breather deal. We finally got it off the old pipe, so now that's all set up. We also, the coolant hose here from the throttle body, that's all reattached, so it's all good to go. Just gotta take it for a drive. So that's it, it's installed perfectly. I'm very happy with it, sounds great, and I got the added performance. And considering it wasn't designed for this car, it fits perfectly, so I'm very happy with it. Thank you for watching this episode of Valve House.